Hey everyone, welcome back again. Today, instead of talking about another Tosca lesson, I'm going to provide you with an overview of a live online training which is going to launch in a few days at QA Script. We're going to talk about why you should learn Tosca as an automation tool and not some script based tool like Selenium. We are going to look at the advantages which Tosca has over any other script based automation tool. We are also going to talk about the market trends, why it is important to move with the market and learn new automation tools. And then I will also tell you what this whole training course is all about, what it contains, where you can register for and how you can move forward. So let's get started. Now talking about what should I learn? Now this is the confusion we all have as an automation or as a manual tester, right? Which automation tool should I learn? Because there are so many automation tools in the market, you are not sure which one will actually provide you with the right market advantage in the coming weeks or years. Now, historically, everyone have been working on any code or script based automation tools. And the most popular one we know is the Selenium web driver. And I am no different. So let me give a background of myself. And few years back, I had been working on Selenium for last eight to 10 years. And I've also worked on other code based automation tools with many programming languages, building frameworks, automating thousands of test cases, training on these automation tools. So I was in a whole world of code based automation tools and I was never going to look at any codeless based automation tools because I also thought the same. I mean, why should I learn a codeless automation tool? Because I would not have control over the code or I cannot build upon anything like a framework of myself i had to depend on a company which has built a tool like uft previously right so i could see the disadvantages uh, initially and i was not reluctant on moving to any uh, codeless based automation tools like tosca or any anything else but slowly i saw the market moving towards these automation tools and then I decided that I need to invest some time in learning this tool, what it is all about, what features it provides, how it will be beneficial uh, if I move into this particular codeless automation tool. And to my surprise, when I started using it, I slowly but slowly, I could see the advantages it brings. Even though I don't uh, have the privilege of using my own code to build a framework, I could save a lot of time in using the existing framework. And the biggest advantage I could see was it could automate any application. I did not have to go to different plugins or different tools in order to automate different types of applications or different types of scenarios, right? I could handle everything in just one tool. And that was a big benefit. So talking about benefits, uh, when you look at a different codeless and a code based tool, the most probable uh, option is Selenium WebDriver. And when you compare it with something like Tosca, you can see the dis disadvantages and advantages. So the biggest advantage I see is People coming from any background can start working in Tosca, but it's not the case with Selenium. You need to have some programming background in order to work with Selenium. I mean, you can just build Selenium scripts without having proper knowledge of any particular language. But if you want to build a framework, you need to have good understanding of a particular programming language like Java, Python, .NET, uh, or any other scripts. But in Tosca, it's not required. You can build your own test cases using the Tosca platform, which provides you with everything. 
Another big advantage I see why companies would be moving slowly towards this codeless automation tools is it can automate every type of application and the whole enterprise suit can be automated as it covers all types of applications like web, desktop, API, mobile, database. But in case of Selenium, we have to depend on other tools because Selenium was built for web applications and it's a great automation tool for web applications. But what about desktop? And what about other things which we need to test? Because uh, in an enterprise, at an enterprise level, you just don't test a single application independently. You have to test the whole suite of applications because everything is connected, right? So a web application will have a backend like a database or it will have an application server. It could have an API which could be connecting to any mobile devices. So you have to test everything in unison. You cannot test them separately. And for that, you need to spend a lot of time building your own framework which can handle all of this together. And Tosca provides you with an easy way or an easy framework which is already present and you can use that to automate all of these applications together at the same time using the same code. Yes, so you heard it correct using the same code which you have built in Tosca and that's the inbuilt framework which is the model based framework, right? So once you build a model, you can reuse it for any particular application as many number of times. But in Selenium, obviously you have to build your own framework. Now we talked about automation testing, which is supported by Selenium. But what about other types of testing, right? So Tosca also provides you with all of the other types of testing which you perform in a testing life cycle. And that includes manual, performance, exploratory. So you can do all of this in Tosca apart from automation testing. And that's one big advantage which I see. Also, it supports different stages of your testing life cycle. So it starts from designing your requirements. You can also design your tests. You can execute your tests and you can also do the reporting. And as you can see why Tosca is such a powerful tool because it can automate everything and at every stage of a development life cycle. Selenium doesn't have uh, the support for any of the STLC stages. You have to build something of your own because um, it, it is just used to test web applications. Another big advantage of Tosca is it has got its own scanning engine, right? And using this different engines, it can scan any type of application, basically any objects, whether it's a mobile device, it's a database, it's a Citrix server, or it's an emulator, it's a desktop, it doesn't matter. Uh, it can scan any objects because they have built these different engines which can support this. And we don't need to go and find different plugins, different tools, or build our own XPaths, which we do in Selenium in order to scan different objects. And many times we face a lot of issues in uh, scanning uh, objects which are not compatible because of different technologies. But no such problem is present in Tosca. Now we have talked a lot about the advantages which Tosca has over Selenium, but I still think um, Tosca, what it lacks is the open source, right? So Tosca is a licensed tool and they target big enterprises, but uh, companies who still uh, prefer open source tools which are free and they do not need to pay for it, even though it's a lot of resource intensive, right? Even if you look at Tosca, which is which might be expensive uh, compared to an open source tool, but in open source tool, you are investing your time and efforts and resources to build a framework which can support your testing or automation testing. But Tosca provides you with that easily without doing anything. You just pay for it 
and then you start building your automation which can have a lot of coverage across all the applications so i think it covers for that price what it comes with but still uh, if companies are not uh, willing to pay for um, a tool like tosca they would still prefer selenium web driver but i think this would change in the future tosca might come up with some new strategies of uh, payments which can help uh, small companies also adopt this automation tool now coming to market trends now this is a sample market trend which i picked from this uh, reference link which is provided below you can also visit this and this is for just united states all the blue patches which you see are the companies which are using tacentis tosca in united states and this is the same story when you go across europe or uh, you go across different countries uh, it is slowly capturing the market so the trend is moving uh, towards these no code or codeless based automation tools even though uh, selenium is still uh, at the top of the market it may change in the coming years and that's what i want to um, explain to you that there is no harm in learning a new automation tool even though it's quite different from um, the historical automation tools which are script based also to give you an idea of the job trends currently and you can also search the same for um, tosca automation specialist jobs in nokri.com and you will see that there are thousands of jobs uh, only in india so and that could go up to many thousands um, all over the different countries and also uh, when it comes to tosca you can have different career paths so you can become a test architect you can become a test analyst you can become a test manager there are lots of opportunities when it comes to tosca and you can learn and build your career accordingly um, in future uh, on how you want to take this forward uh, when you start learning tosca and start implementing it um, and build your career in a new automation tool uh, which is different from other automation tools now we have talked a lot about uh, why tosca is so good and how it is so different from the script based tools but let's see just a very short demo um, i have been giving lots of different lessons on this particular tool but still i wanted to show you how powerful tosca is and how easily you can start automating right away using this tool to automate a simple web application or a page in a few minutes so let's go ahead and see this so for this demonstration i'm going to use one of my existing projects and i'm going to create a new folder under test cases where We'll be creating our test cases so let me name it demo and first we require a module in order to build a test case and this is where you scan your modules for your application so i'm going to use the scan application but before that let me create a folder here as well called demo and then go to scan application now for this particular demo, um, I'm going to use a demo application called Swag Labs. It's just a login page where you enter your username and password, and then uh, you log in into that application. And that's the whole scenario we are going to automate. Pretty quickly, a very short demo on how Tosca works, how it can scan the objects, how you can build your test cases, and then you can execute that particular test case, right? So this is our uh, XScan engine, which can scan all the applications on your desktop. And I'm going to use my Chrome, which is currently open with the website. And I'm going to tell uh, Tosca to scan this particular page. Now what Tosca will do, it will try to identify all the objects on the page, right? So you can select all the objects and add it, or you can also select your individual objects what you want to identify right 
so i can do a select on screen and i can select username password and the login button that's all i require here i can also rename this whole module to a different thing so this is called the swag labs but i can call it the demo page right and that way i can recognize that this is my module right um the other thing is you can also see whether your item or your object is unique the identified by tosca and we don't need to change any properties so all the web properties are being used here or some of them uniquely to identify this object right so i'm going to save this quickly and i'm going to close it and that will create my module called demo and inside this we have got the demo page right so i'm going to drag it to the right side so that i can have a full view of my module as well as my test cases now i want to create a test case here so i'll go and create a test case called login and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for this demo page and add it here as a test step right so i'm going to search and add the step here it will contain all the standard modules which are already provided by tosca and all our custom modules which we have scanned right so let's go for demo page and i have got my module i'm just going to add it here now let's close the modules page and uh, here we need to enter the username the password and the login right so let's go ahead and use the standard user and we'll enter it here and then let's go with the password i can also type it but uh, i would rather just copy paste it you can see password is already converted um so that you cannot see them right um and i can just use click to click on the login button now this is all about uh, the login page but the first thing which uh, we need to do is we need to uh, go into or open our web page right so for that uh, we'll be using another uh, module right so i will call this open open web page okay and i'm going to put this uh, before login so you can drag and drop to reorganize your tests and in this i'm going to again search for an existing module right so that's called open url and this will give you uh, with a url where you can enter your url right so any web application url you want to scan or you want to run your tests on so this is my url uh, it will first open the web page and then it will log in right so that's our whole test case i can also add a close page uh, or close application step here using a standard module but let's just stick to this um, i just want this demo to be pretty short right so uh, our test case is ready um, we can run it many ways right so i can run it in a scratch book which is a temporary run it will not have any execution logs or i can also run it as an execution list which will have the logs for you as a history okay but let's uh, stick here and just run it in the scratch book because we just want to see it working right so let's go ahead and run in scratch book and now you will see that it will launch uh, the chrome browser and it will go to the web page and uh, then it will perform the steps which we have asked it to perform we can also put lots of validations everywhere um, tosca provides you with lots of options uh, to put validations so that you can also test or you can verify the result what you are expecting right so not not just performing the automation but also verifying which is very important in automation so this is uh, how it looks like it got executed in a few seconds right and um, we have got the results here 
to look at. So it tells you the start time duration, what steps have passed and the test case itself have passed, right? So if you looked um, at this particular demo, uh, it just took me a few minutes to build all of this, right? I just scanned the objects, I added the module into my test case, and then I executed it. So this is how simple it is to automate your test cases using Tosca. You can basically just scan the modules of the application once, and then you can reuse those modules in all of your test cases. There are also standard modules to help you with common automation scenarios provided by Tosca, which is very helpful. So this was all about the short demo. Now let's jump uh, into rest of the things which we want to talk about. So hopefully this demo gave you a brief understanding of how Tosca works and how powerful our automation tool it is and how beneficial it will be for you to learn more about this tool. So I'm going to talk about this uh, training um, and give you an overview of what will be covered in this. Uh, there are the timings and start date mentioned, so it's quite quickly coming up um, and it's a very useful training. So it is going to cover um, an introduction to Tosca, how you can start using Tosca for yourself uh, to automate any application. It is going to uh, run through all the features of Tosca, uh, right from requirements, designing, uh, execution, uh, reporting, and uh, anything else. So we are going to run through different uh, features of Tosca and uh, also understand how you can use it in real-time scenarios. So building automation um, and uh, everything inside Tosca using some um, real websites or real-time scenarios. We're also going to talk about different best practices. There will be lots of assignments, uh, different uh, quiz questions to uh, help you understand better and also practice um, uh, Tosca questions, which you may get uh, if you are attending any interviews. Uh, there would be support for uh, completing your certifications and also if you need um, any help in completing any particular tasks uh, within uh, your jobs, uh, which you currently do or you would be doing in future. So this is uh, more and less about an overview of this particular training. Uh, it's going to be held on every Saturday um, um, uh, on these timings and on this start date. So uh, this training is open for registrations uh, right uh, on the URL below. Uh, the URL is also present in the description, so you can go ahead and register yourself if you are interested, and uh, we would see you in the training. Also, uh, to give you a brief introduction to the platform where this training would be held, and it's available uh, on the website uh, qscript.com. It is also uh, we also have an Android application. Uh, you can download QA script and access your course content or attend your live sessions right from the mobile app. So just uh, want to give you a brief idea about how this platform looks like and how you can access this course, where you can register, and uh, lots of other things on this particular platform for a very short overview. So this is how our new platform looks like. Um, you can um, explore all the courses uh, which are coming up and uh, the live course, which is uh, going to be soon introduced. Um, you can also go ahead and register for this course. Um, you can either have a preview of uh, three days uh, where you will have ac access to this training or you can go for um, the full payment and buy this uh, training course. So uh, go ahead and do this. Uh, all the details are mentioned here, and you can also have a look uh, once you are registered for this course, how the whole contents look like. Also, 
uh, there is a lot of blogs which are available on different topics which you can uh, read anytime uh, to learn more about interview questions or any frameworks any automation tools anything so uh, you can register yourself and then uh, register in the training um, and also go through different blogs so this is all about our brand new platform so take advantage of this um, to build your career on different automation tools so that's all about um, an overview of, of all of the different topics which we talked about if you have any queries or follow-ups just um, reach out to us at support at um, you can also message us or email us um, and we'll be happy to help you so thanks everyone for uh, joining the session and if you have any questions just post it in the chat or reach out to us um, in any of these uh, email addresses and phone numbers and we'll be speaking soon in the coming of videos